I do want to do, we have another super chat I want to just read. Um, oh. Brian Lindbergh says, build back better has been used by other UN leaders long before Biden. Oh, I didn't know that. Ever used the slogan. He's signaling that he's wow. on board with a great reset. Oh, that's more chilling and makes more sense. Thank you, Brian. Um, damn. Uh, that makes sense. That would explain that. You hit the reset phrase. and you build back, but quote, build back better. Yeah. <sighs> well. So somebody pointed, somebody pointed out in the chat earlier when we were talking about the Great Reset, how this is going to starve millions of people in de developing countries. And uh, earlier today, someone sent me a link. This is from the World Food Program, United Nations. Mm -hmm. And I take everything the United Nations says with a grain of salt. Um, this is an article from September 17th, 2020, and it just says the World Food Program chief warns of grave dangers of economic impact of coronavirus as millions are pers pushed further into hunger. And they're just kind of taking stock of where things are at. And um, here's just one part I want to read. As COVID-19 pushed countries everywhere to lock down, the equivalent of 400 million full-time jobs have been destroyed and remittances have collapsed. The impact has been felt hardest by the 2 billion people who work in the informal economy around the world, mainly in middle and low income countries. Already only one day's work away from going hungry, in other words, living hand to mouth. You and I have food in the pantry in a lockdown. We have enough food for two or three weeks. These people don't have that luxury. If they miss a day's wages, they miss a day's worth of food and their children suffer. And, and it just goes on about how many people in the third world have been affected since the lockdowns started. Yep. And it's, it's amazing to me that they can both recognize this, put out an article about it, and then still be enacting, you know, putting up this great reset site and enacting this, this reset, this future, trying to accelerate us into this future they want. Well, that, that will only, all of that's only going to get worse. They think yeah. those jobs are going to come back. I mean, they don't, they don't actually care about developing nations. You got to understand that. No, this is yeah, not, they don't. They the developing don't. nations are a pawn in their global chess game that they use against each other or for virtue signaling or whatever. They're not, they don't care. They don't give a crap. If they cared about developing nations, uh, they would encourage them to burn coal for power because it's cheap and it will raise the standard yeah. of living of their yeah. population and save lives. Like, and they would say, you know what? Screw our, you know, screw our global warming nonsense and our, our, you know, insane scare. You guys need cheap energy. Cheap energy will help you. Um, they will be teaching them how to, uh, they'll be teaching them about individual rights and how to implement uh, an economy based on capitalism. Like they would be doing stuff that's not, not this, not this. They wouldn't be implementing lockdowns. Like I don't, yeah. What third world country person is like, oh yeah, uh, I can just work from home now. Like that doesn't. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Most people in the but, U.S. can't do that. Yeah. I this you know I appreciate humor about the darkest of subjects. I think it serves a purpose about yes. dark subject with dark subjects in particular. Scott Wellman in chat just said previously on the DNC's new hit sitcom, Developing Nations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it reminds me of my it. favorite. I've said this before, but my one of my favorite dark memes is the uh, is the one the picture of Stalin that says, uh, "Dark humor is like food; not everyone gets uh, it." Not everyone <laughs> gets it. Yeah, yeah, but, very dark meme. 